Russell, I hope you had a good day at work today. What time do you think you'll be home today? Hi, Mercy. I think I'll be getting home around 6 p.m. Then on your way home, do you mind stopping by the grocery store and getting us some side dishes for dinner? I won't be home until later tonight myself, so I think you'll be the first to get home. I won't be cooking anything for dinner either, so get anything you want from the store to have for dinner. Sounds good. What all would you like me to buy? Anything you're wanting to eat tonight? I'll leave that all up to you. Just as long as you get lots of vegetables for me. Alright then. So, you're out of the house now as well then? That's right. I'm out with my friend. Wait, so you didn't take Kylie with you then? Nope. Kylie is back home taking care of the house. By herself? Are you sure that's an okay thing to be doing to her? Yeah. She's in sixth grade now, so I'm sure she can manage herself. I made sure to raise her as a good little girl after all. And every so often I'll send her a text to see how things are going for her. Is that right? By the way, did we talk about how the soap by the kitchen sink has ran out? Do you need me to bring some more home? Kylie should have gone out to get that for us, so we should be fine. While I was out of the house today, I had her go do a little bit of shopping for me. You're even having her go shopping by herself now? Isn't that a little bit scary and dangerous? How so? Well, there are some pretty strange people out in this world. And if she were ever to get caught up in something, we may never know. There's nobody at the house right now either. Recently, there have been a lot more break-ins as well happening around this city. I think you're getting a little too worried about things. Kylie is already in middle school now and can handle herself. I don't think she needs her overprotective dad worrying about her so much right now, when she needs to start learning what it's like to be an adult. And it was her idea to go out and shop for me today. But even still... I have been thinking this recently. I think you're asking for Kylie to do too many things for you. You think so? You're always having her clean up the house and do the laundry. You don't have to say that I'm having her, alright? Kylie always tells me every time she'll handle those things herself. If she wants to do them, then I'm more than glad to allow her to do so. She's become so good at doing chores now that I barely even consider her a middle schooler. I think that one of the reasons why she might be willing to do the chores so often is because you don't do them anymore. I have not been slacking off on things like that, alright? You have always been half-assing your work in the house, and then leave the rest of it up to her to finish. I think she can understand that you're no use when it comes to cleaning things up and that she has to handle it all herself. The reason she's so good at doing the chores now is because of what you've been doing. I've just been trying to raise her into a girl that will one day be able to handle everything on her own. That's why I won't finish all the chores sometimes. Having her be great at everything by the time she's an adult will be a huge help for herself. Don't you think? Also, when it comes to doing all the chores right, that's a huge plus in the world of women. Because of me, she's going to make a very fine and attractive woman. I get what you're saying. But when it comes to kids her age, they are susceptible to a lot of things. Being alone like that makes her a huge target for the indecent members of this society. So I would rather you not leave her alone all the time like that. I understand that you want her to become an excellent adult. But she's too young to be doing all those things by herself yet. All right. Next month, I'm going to be out of the house for a week doing business. So would you make sure that during that time not to leave everything in the hands of Kylie? Sure thing. I understand what you want. Hey, listen to me. Kylie is being a real jerk to me right now. What happened? She just started saying these awful things to me out of nowhere. She told me that I look like a cow. Is that something someone her age should be saying about her own mother? That's right, there is something she needs to be punished for, right? I bet that was really upsetting for you. Right? She's a bully. 
What the heck happened to our little girl? I wonder if she's finally hitting puberty or something. What ended up happening that led to her calling you a cow? I was just laying there on the couch when she came up to me and said that. Out of nowhere, you said? Yeah! I was just laying on the couch watching TV when she came to me and said that. So what I'm getting from all this is that you made her do all the chores again while you laid around all day doing nothing? Kylie was talking to me about this herself before. She said that you're always pushing all the hard work off onto her while you go lay down somewhere and do nothing for the rest of the day. And <gasps> Kylie has been saying things like that about me? I have not just been laying around though. I've been taking some breaks, is all. And from her point of view, that seems to be you laying around doing nothing while she has to take care of all the work. She learns from what she sees more than from what she's told. But she can't start calling me a cow over that. And I'm starting to think this isn't the only problem with her. Recently, she's become very open about the horrible things she wants to say to me. She's acting like she's had to preach to me about all these things. Is she trying to get herself put into time out at her age? What does she think she's doing talking to adults like that as a kid? I wonder if that's the case. I've been warned by Kylie a few times myself. But I feel that all those times have been warned and I deserve them. I mean, she does a pretty dang good job of telling me when I made a mistake and never noticed anything. So you're not going to ever get upset with her over that? Well, it's not like she's trying to pick on me or anything. And let's be honest here. She's not making me aware of my mistakes all the time. I think you happen to be doing a lot of things that she sees as wrong in her eyes. And that's why you're being talked to so often by her. But I think all those things she's saying are facts. So you're going to be on her side in this? Just because she's cute doesn't mean you can blindly fall into her trap like that. To be frank, from my point of view even, you're a bit of a sloth lately when it comes to doing the chores. I think you're taking advantage of the fact that your daughter can clean well. To her, when you push all those chores off onto her, and then she has to watch you lay around all day, she has no other choice but to complain about that. So you're going to tell me that it's my fault my daughter is calling me a cow now? I don't think calling you a cow was the correct approach to all that. But the reason she was led to saying that was because of your actions. I'll go and have a talk with her about this. But in order to keep yourself from being talked to like that from her, you need to keep yourself in check for her. If you're able to show her that you actually care about the house as much as she has to, then I'm sure her behavior will change. I would like to show our daughter that we can both be respectable parents. Alright, alrighty. I'll go ahead and show her what all I can do then. Yes, please do that for her and I. Good luck, Mercy. Kylie, are you awake still? I'll be home in a couple more days here. I'll be able to make it home sooner than expected. You'll be home in a couple days? What? Are you alright, Dad? Why are you asking me if I'm alright? You're in the hospital right now, right? Mom went to the hospital to go and see you and hasn't come home for quite a while now. What happened to you being very sick? You had to have that surgery done, right? What? I didn't have to go into the hospital, Kylie. Are you sure? Then where did you end up going? I've been on a business trip this week. I haven't been sick with anything, and so far I've actually been feeling pretty good. Did your mom never tell you anything about me going on this business trip? Mom never told me a single thing about that. The only thing I heard from her was that you had to go to the hospital. What? She told me she had to go and be there to take care of you and left for the hospital herself. It's been around three days now and she still hasn't come back home. Huh? So that means you've been home alone for the past three days now? 
Yeah? She told me to stay home and take care of the house. Are you alright? Have you been able to eat and things like that? You're not sick at all, are you? There haven't been any weird people coming to the house or anything? You've been making sure to eat three meals a day, right? I'm okay, Dad. I can do all the chores in this house. And I'm used to being on my own now. I've never had to live on my own for three days in a row, though. It's been really lonely and boring here. I'm sure it has been. I would really like to come back home to you right now, but at this time, I don't think I can. I'll let your grandma know about this right now. I'll have her take care of you until I'm able to come back home, okay? But grandma lives so far away. I think I'll be okay on my own here. No way. I don't know what else might be going on there, and I don't want you to be alone any longer. I'll let grandma know what's going on and have her come to get you. Or would you rather go to her house? I can't do that. I have school tomorrow, right? I want to get an award for perfect attendance so I will not stay home from school. I suppose that's a good point if that's what you want. Then I'm going to have Grandma come and stay with you. Okay. I really want to know what your mom was thinking. I really wonder what happened to her. Where did she go? Actually, before Mom left the house, she was acting really strange. I, I really do wonder what's gotten into her. I have no idea why she would lie about something like my health to you. And the fact that she left the house and you for that long? That is something I will not let her get away with. I've always thought of Mom as a really lazy person. Not just lazy, but useless in general. I guess she's not just those two things, but a liar as well. I agree. Your mom is a massive liar. Anyway, I'm sorry that you've had to be on your own for that long. I'll make sure your grandma gets to you right away. Just hang tight. Mom, how is Dad? Has he started to feel better yet? From the sounds of it, your dad will be able to leave this hospital pretty soon. I'll be coming home today as well, alright? I see. So, can you tell me where you've really been all this time, Mom? Where I've really been? What are you talking about, Kylie? I've been at the hospital with your dad all this time, right? Your dad has been sick this whole time, so I haven't been anywhere else but the hospital with him. <laughs> Mom, you don't have to lie to me anymore. I know you haven't been at the hospital this whole week. You lied to me about that and have gone somewhere else, right? So what have you been doing? Why are you talking to your own mother like that? Kylie, you know better than to pick on your parents like that, right? So what is all of this about? Have you become so lonely from being home by yourself that you want to mess around with me? I just want to know what you've really been doing. And I'm not lonely as of right now. Dad is already home with me right now, so I've been completely fine here. What? That's why all of this is a little weird to me, Mom. Don't you think? Dad isn't sick at all, and he's already back home with me. So, who have you been in that hospital with this whole time watching over? Is your dad really at home with you? You're just trying to play with me some more, right? Kylie, I I'm right about that, right? Mercy, it's been a little bit. So, what's all this about me being in the hospital? Since when did I become so sick that I had to stay in the hospital for a week? Is that really you? It really is me. Why are you home already? Aren't you home a lot sooner than you told me before? That's true. I was able to come back home from that trip a lot sooner than I thought I'd be getting home. But before I was able to come home, I talked with Kylie. And she told me that I was supposed to be in the hospital right now. Well, that freaked me out a little. I see. So that's how this is going to be. You guys figured it out. I think we figured out more than we wanted to. So, where the hell have you really gone off to? Are I'm sorry, Russell. Really, I'm on vacation with a friend of mine. 
The day that you left to go on that business trip, I was invited by them to go. I knew it was wrong of me to just go at a time like that, but I really wanted to go. Are you kidding me, Mercy? Leaving a sixth grader at home for almost a week by herself like that? You are way too irresponsible now! I wasn't able to help myself, alright? It's been years now since I was last able to go on a vacation like this. And this happened to be an invitation from one of my best friends. So I couldn't say no to them. Then tell me, why did you have to lie about all of it? Had you just told me the truth about everything, I would have been able to say okay to it. I could have had my mom come and take care of Kylie. And then she would have never had to stay home like that for so many days on her own. You understand what I'm saying, right? I just assumed if I told you the truth, you'd get upset with me again. And that would probably make Kylie mad at me as well, and then you'd both never let me go. I didn't want to be told that I couldn't go on this vacation. Even still, you can't lie about things like that. And the fact that I've come home now has ruined your whole life. You I never planned on lying about it the entire time, alright? I was going to tell the truth once you and I were back home around Kylie. I was just making up a story in order to allow myself to go on this trip. I was going to tell Kylie the whole truth when I got home, and would hopefully get her to understand me. And as a sorry for the lie, I made sure to get all sorts of gifts for the both of you. You really think you'd be forgiven for lying by giving us gifts from your trip? I have all kinds of really delicious snacks here. I know for a fact that Kylie will be all over them. I well, from the looks of her right now, she doesn't seem to want anything to do with you now. You really thought that you'd be able to fool our smart little daughter with gifts and snacks? Now tell me this. Have you really been on a vacation with your friend? I have been? What? Are you doubting that now? Well, I only ask because you don't happen to have a lot of friends. And have you ever had a friend that would just invite you on a trip like that last minute? I do! You're being a real jerk now, Russell. Are you sure? If you do have a friend like that, then we're good here. But Mercy, you're not lying to me anymore now, right? You know what, Mercy? You don't have to come back home anymore. What? Why not? I'm already really close to the house now. And you never replied to me after our last little conversation today. So you could go ahead and stay away from my house forever now. We're getting a divorce, and that'll be it for us. Why would you say something like that? All I did was lie a little and left Kylie at the house for the week. You two are being way too extreme asking her for a divorce over something as simple as that. I had a look deep inside your closet. There was something in there that I've never seen before in my life. What is this exactly? You had this tablet hidden inside all your winter clothes like you were trying to hide it from me. From you found that? From what I can tell, you've been talking a lot with this Frank guy on here. Every day you talk with him, actually. Telling him you love him, and that he loves you. I want to meet you so badly. And he replies that he wants to meet you soon. For some reason, all this looks a lot like something two lovers would be saying to one another over text. Of course, there's also some things in there about this vacation you've just gone on. So, the friend you've been going out with has been this man? How the hell did you figure out the password on that thing? Actually, why the hell have you been rooting around in my closet like that? On the screen, I can see your finger grease that was left over from the password you typed in. <laughs> it only took me a couple tries before I was able to get your pin correct. And the person that found this tablet happened to be your daughter. She knew there were more things you were hiding from the both of us. So we've both been going through this whole house looking for more evidence for what you've been up to. Oh, don't you two start acting like freaking house burglars. Your lies aren't going to work in your favor anymore. So, what are you going to do now? I understand that you were doing so well lying to us. 
That's not going to work now. So if you continue to keep trying to lie, then you're only making the hole you end up in deeper for yourself. Uh, I'm sorry. Now you tell me the whole truth. The man you went on that vacation happens to be the man you're cheating on me with, right? Yes. Leaving our daughter alone at home all by herself. You really have fallen off the deep end. But I'm being serious when I say I never wanted to go on this trip with him. He forcefully invited me on this trip of his and I had no other choice but to go. Even if he's trying to force you, you tell him no! I cannot believe you leave your 6th grader at home for a whole week by herself to go and do something like that! I understand I made the wrong choice, but this guy is a jerk. He knew that I had a kid at home, but was still trying to get me to come with him. Don't blame him for all that. In the end, the one that made the final decision was you, right? You're the one at fault here. You're no mother. I don't want you coming to this house ever again. But if I just vanish like you're wanting me to, then Kylie is going to be heartbroken. No, she will not. Kylie is over all your bullcrap. Would rather you vanish as well. She's told me she doesn't need some embarrassment of a mother like you in this family. So, even Kylie wants me out of the family now? Her and I have had enough of you, Mercy. You've disappointed us greatly. We knew that you'd always been this lazy and useless woman. But now it's apparent to us that you're nothing but a liar now. Honestly, we would have been able to handle your lying about going out with your friend. But learning that this was all so that you could go and sleep with that man for a week has really broken my heart. I will never be able to trust you again, and neither will Kylie. And there is no way either of us will live out our lives around someone we cannot trust. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Russell. Please don't throw me away. If you were going to apologize to me, then you should have done that before you lying some more. I was an idiot for all of this. I still am now. If you both throw me out now, I won't be able to carry on. I promise that from now on, I'll be the perfect mother and wife to you guys, so please forgive me. I won't lie to either of you ever again. You really did it to yourself this time, lying about everything you were up to, after being told that you had lied to us. I think it's kind of amazing how much you lie. And I'm not lying anymore, though. This is all coming from my heart. That heart of yours is a lie. I'm kind of getting tired of listening to all the lies your so-called heart is telling me. There's nothing left for you to be lying to me about, yet you keep going. And that's why I can't trust you. All I hear now are lies, and that'll never change. I do not want to get a divorce, Russell. I will not leave you two, okay? This isn't about what you want or don't want now. You were the one that created a reason for a divorce, and I'm sure you were aware of that. I'm going to make sure to get a very nice settlement from both you and that Frank guy. And after that, you'll also be paying for child support every month. How far are you going to take all of this? You don't have to try killing me like that. Both you and Kylie are cold-hearted if you continue to hurt me like that. Stop blaming the both of us for your problems! You are more like a child than our daughter is. Because I've been sad this whole time. I keep telling you that I've learned my lesson, and yet you keep saying you won't trust me. Jeez. What a freaking crybaby. It's bizarre that a child like you is able to raise such an adult-minded girl like Kylie. I want you to go back to elementary school and start over learning what ethics are and how to manage them. Kylie and I are too old now to be playing around with kids like you. So you go back to your parents' house. And you have them raise you from the ground up one more time. After that, Mercy had tried to force her way into the house, but I had locked all the doors, and both Kylie and I would not listen to her as she cried to be let in. She began to scream and cry like a spoiled child. We both chose to ignore all of that as well. The both of us were sure on throwing that woman out of the house. No amount of her begging and pleading was going to change that. After a while, she began to stop crying, and her face went from bright red to pale white. 
After she had become very quiet and was leaning up against the front door, she asked both Kylie and I if we were really one of the divorce. There, we both told her that we indeed did want the divorce and wanted her to no longer be a part of our lives. After telling her that, she shut up and agreed to the divorce, which we then started to talk about in more detail. I made sure to tell her that I did not need a wife in my life that would push off all of her chores onto our daughter and then leave the house for a week to go and cheat on me. Just looking at her face outside the front window pissed me off as I had to tell her how much it hurt me knowing that my wife was doing all that to my little girl. I understand that Kyla's in middle school now, but that does not give Mercy the right to leave everything to her. All so that she can sit around like the cow she is. All what's happened doesn't just fall onto the shoulders of my wife, though, as I too am to blame for some of it. In order to make up for the pain my daughter has had to endure, I'm going to become the world's best father to her. Make sure that she's raised in a home where she'll never be forced to do anything and will never be left alone again. A little while after, the divorce was completed and I was given money for the settlement I got from my wife. She had to go back to her parents' house, where she was yelled at for days on end by both her mom and dad for what had happened. As of right now, she is still living with her parents, while helping out with their family business. Both her parents seem to be working her hard in order to raise her properly at the time. And each month, they are the ones to send me the child support that their daughter should be paying me. This whole time, I have not met with Mercy at all either, and neither has Kylie. As for the man that had been with my wife as she was cheating on me, he so happened to have been the owner of the store she was working part-time for. He happened to be a married man himself, so after paying me the settlement I had asked from him, his wife found out what he was up to. After she went and tore him a new one, he went and told Mercy to never talk to him again, and then went back to his wife begging her not to leave him. Who knows why there are people in this world that are so selfish that they are willing to cheat like that. I'm sure both Mercy and Frank will learn soon enough that this world does not cater to those who think they can just get away with being unfaithful. When it comes to myself, I've taken some help from my parents in raising Kylie and caring for her. And to make sure things would be more smooth there, both Kylie and I moved closer to them. I understand that Kylie is far more mature than most her age, but she is still a very young girl. So for the time being, my parents and I will be here to protect her until she's old enough to tell us she doesn't need our protection anymore. Thank you for watching and listening. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment about what you thought of the story. We look forward to seeing you all in the next story.